Hi everyone, it's Tamika Shilby and I'm coming at you today from the historic and beautiful Empress Hotel in Victoria. This is the perfect place to talk about the winter solstice. And today I'm going to share with you six ways that you in your everyday life, no matter what traditions you celebrate, that you can bring the solstice energy into your life. We know how to do Christmas, we know how to do other holiday seasons, but how do we do the solstice? What is it about and what do we do? I don't know if you can see that beautiful view of the harbor, but it's such a beautiful day here. And you are amazing. What I want to remind you about the solstice, if you don't already know, is that this um, winter solstice marks the shortest amount of light of any day of the year, in the northern hemisphere anyway. So we are honoring tonight this change where the light is coming back. So we're going to have more and more light as we go forward into the upcoming days. Do you have any idea what magnificence you have in your soul? You may not realize this, but you are a light. You are a particle of light. You are literally light beams. So during this season, one of the things you can do is to remember that light. And when you see grand and beautiful Christmas lights and you are in awe of them, say to yourself, I am that light. I am as shiny and bright as that light. The next one is to let go of something. What can you let go of your, in your world? So even if it's something as simple as letting go of something in your house, like is there a piece of clothing that you're not wearing anymore that you're just hanging on to for sentimental reasons or for just because you haven't cleaned your closets, let go of something. If you ever do this, um, I don't know about you, but I've let go of a piece of clothing and someone has either been like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to wear this and they're wearing it every day when it just sat in my closet. Or I give it away and or I offer it to people and they're like, oh, we don't want this, it's like so outdated. And I'm like, why did I hang on to this so long? So as the season turns from less light to more light, let go of something that doesn't serve you anymore in this new beginning. Something that has the old energy on it. You want to clear that out so that you can make room for something new. The next one is to go into a cave. Remember this is the darkest night of the year and so it's a time to really honor that darkness. Remember seeds are planted in the dark. We are all grown in the dark, in the darkness of womb. The darkness of the new moon shows us so much possibility. So go into some kind of cave. We always hear about man caves, but what about woman caves? It doesn't matter what your gender is or non-gender. This is about going inside. And if you only have five minutes, then do that. Just five minutes of stillness and silence. You might take a meditation cushion, a journal, or some of your most favorite, precious, beautiful things and just sit with them for a few minutes. So the other one you guys can do is to light a fire. So it doesn't have to be a real fire. It can be an image of a fire. It can be a candle or it can be a real fireplace. So remember, we're honoring the solar return, so the fire of the sun. And when we light a fire, it's a piece of that sun, just, just as when we have a drop of water, it's a piece of all the other water in the world. When we light a fire, it's a piece of that solar fire. So if you can do that um, on the solstice or around the solstice, this will help you honor the solar return. Do that and think about your own fire and what you want to create in 2018. The next one is to light someone else's fire. Remember a time when you've been really down and someone has lifted you up just by their words of encouragement or their kindness or just for being near you in your process. And if you can reach out to someone like that, you will help them with their solar return, the return of the light. So doing that is a really special practice. We can't just do all these things for ourselves, but then we want to share them with other people. So help someone else light their fire or reignite their fire. 
The last thing I'm going to suggest to you guys is to look up. This is a cosmic event and what we, we spend so much of our time like hunched over and we're looking at our devices and our computers and we're writing and we're driving cars so we're very hunched over protecting our hearts. But look up, lift your chin, lift your eyes to the sky, connect with something bigger than is than this earthly walk that we're all on. Even for a moment, this is advice that I give myself to look up. Thank you for joining me today, guys. And thank you to all of the beautiful people at the Fairmont Empress, Victoria. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What are your winter solstice, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, what are your winter solstice rituals? See you soon.